Welcome to a training on decoding multisyllabic words. I'm Jodine Smith, Senior Program Specialist in the Reading Language Arts Unit at the Los Angeles County Office of Education. I'm so glad you have joined me for this module on decoding words with vowel team syllables. There are six syllable types that are useful for students to learn to help with decoding. The acronym CLOVER is helpful to remember them. Today we will look at one type, vowel team syllables. Check out the other quick modules to learn more about the other syllable types. Students may know how to read single syllable words, but often get stuck on multisyllabic words. Teachers say things like, break the word apart, or sound it out. But do students actually know effective ways to do this? We can teach students strategies for decoding multisyllabic words using the common syllable types. These syllable types don't work 100% of the time, but they work often enough for them to be extremely useful to students. To be successful with this strategy, it is really important that students are proficient with the phonological awareness skill of breaking words into syllables and blending syllables together. Continue to practice this if students are not proficient. Also, be sure to explicitly teach students that every syllable has a vowel. This is important for them to know for every syllable type. Do not let students discover this concept on their own. It is extremely important that you explicitly teach and reinforce this concept. A vowel team is the letters that represent a vowel sound in a word. Most often, it is two vowels together to make the vowel sound, such as in the digraphs AI as in rain, EA as in leap, or OA as in boat. Diphthongs are also vowel teams that produce a sliding sound, such as OW in cow, OI in join, or EW in stew. But look at the letters used to make the vowel sound in the word light, IGH. OUGH makes the O sound in the word dough, and EIGH makes the A sound in the word eight. The purpose of this module is to use syllabication rules to read multisyllabic words with vowel teams. So, of course, before students can read multisyllabic words, they must be introduced to each of the vowel team spellings and sounds and be very proficient in reading single syllable words. The main thing students will need to know about vowel teams is that the vowel team is treated as one vowel sound. Students will need to use knowledge of other syllabication rules too. Students should use the following process to decode unknown words. First, students should code the vowels. Then, code and count any consonants between the vowels. Next, divide the syllables using syllabication rules. Finally, decode each syllable and blend the syllables together to read the word. Let's look at a couple of examples. First, have students identify and code the vowels. You may wish to have students use VT to code the vowel team. Then, code and count the number of consonants between the vowels. In this case, there are two consonants between the first vowel and the vowel team. Next, the syllables can be divided. Syllables are usually divided between two consonants. In this word, between the N and the T. After the syllables are divided, each syllable can now be decoded. In this example, the first syllable is closed, which usually produces the short vowel sound, con. The second syllable is a vowel team syllable, tain. Blend the syllables together to make the word contain. Let's take a look at this word. First, code the vowels. Next, code the consonants between the vowels. Now you can divide the syllables. While coding the consonants, I notice the consonant LE pattern. I can start with the E and count back three to divide the syllable and also divide the syllable after the consonant LE pattern. Now let's decode each syllable. Bum, bull, bee. 
Bumblebee. How would you help students decode this word? Code the vowels and any consonants between the vowels. Notice the vowel teen in this word. Divide the syllables. If there is one consonant between two vowels, the consonant usually goes with the second syllable. Now decode each syllable. Re, join, rejoin. Here's another word to practice. How would you help students with this word? Is this what you came up with? Thou, sand, thousand. Students are not able to physically separate syllables on a page, but it may be useful for them to draw scoops under each syllable after they code the word, such as in these examples. Thanks for taking time to watch this video on decoding words with vowel team syllables. My hope is that you were provided or reminded of some effective strategies to help students decode multisyllabic words. Be sure to check out the other quick modules to learn about other syllable types.